you can draw this and procreate. During this super easy procreate tutorial, I will guide you through the steps of creating this cute cartoon puppy. You don't need any experience with drawing or with procreate to be able to follow this tutorial because I will be guiding you through every single step. For this procreate tutorial, we will be using free brushes and I have provided a color palette for you, which is linked in the description. Don't forget to share your work once you have reached the end of this tutorial. And if you're sharing it on Instagram, then don't forget to tag me in the image not just in the description because that way I will be able to find your work and then maybe we will see it in the next video just like these fantastic results from my friends at patreon if you are a frequent watcher then of course you know that that's the place you need to go if you want to watch even more procreate tutorials and then you already know that there are more than a hundred over there ranging from beginner levels to more advanced levels but now let's get started on this tutorial we're working on a canvas that is 3500 pixels by 3500 pixels and if you are ready let's get started to draw our little puppy we'll first start with a sketch and for the sketch i would like to use the chalk pencil which is part of the free treasure chest brush pack if you don't already have it then go to freefromflow.com to get it it's totally free but of course you can also use another brush for sketching and for the color i'll just use a dark color a dark gray or black and the opacity of the brush is at 100% and I have the size set to 25%. And then first we'll create... Hold on, before we continue, here's a super quick sketching workshop. Sketching is like an exploration. We're exploring what we want our shapes to look like. So we're making a bunch of lines that will give us an estimate. These don't have to be thick and permanent lines, but they will be used as a guide later on. So when you see me making multiple lines or circles on top of each other, that's just me trying to find that shape that I'm looking for. I can't create it in one go and there's no need to. With sketching, there's no need for perfectionism. Just make loose, light lines. When using traditional tools, it's important to make your sketch light and easy to either erase or paint over. But when working digital, you can also just lower the opacity of your sketch layer, of course. Lucky us. When you make a sketch, you can build up your subject with simple shapes. So your sketch will be like the construction underneath the final drawing or painting. And that's exactly what we will do for our little dog. And then first we'll create a circular shape for the head of our puppy. It's nice and big because it's a cute looking, because it's a cute looking puppy and the bigger the head, the cuter it'll look. And for the body, we'll create another rounded shape, something like this. And then we'll also create these big oval shapes for its ears. One over here and one over here. Then we'll create a curved line here. And then we'll make an oval shape here. That's one of its feet and one over here. So that's its two front paws and then one over here. And here we have its belly curve. Here we'll go upward for its front leg and then we'll have a paw over here so that's just a little rounded shape here then this leg will go up like this now let's make a bit of a circular shape here in the front so that's its its chest the two darker curves here then its leg will go upward here and here we have its back and it'll curve a bit like this. And here we have its hind leg with that paw. And then for its tail, we'll make a simple shape like this, a bit pointy. So that's the base of its body. Then for its face, let's make a line through the center. That's where the eyes will be. I have made it a little bit diagonal. 
and then over here we'll make a shape for its muzzle then for the eyes i want them to be nice and big let's create something like this two big eyes and then over here we have its nose and it's like a rounded triangular shape and then we'll make a smile like this so this line will go to the side of that that circle that oval that we made for the muzzle and then downward here another curve for its tongue and then here at the top we'll have a little curve for its nose and a little curve right here underneath for its chin now let's make the top of the head i'll make it a little bit more flat and then that ear will follow that curve of the oval we made and go inward a little bit like this And then the same on the other side. You can follow the curve a bit. You can also add a bit of a more flat part on the outside. And here we'll curve back in like this. Then let's let's fill these eyes just for now for our sketch. And we'll add a little little eyelash. And we'll add eyebrows and we'll make them curve like this so they'll go up towards the center and for the sides of its face make a line like this and then if you press and hold your eraser it'll switch to the chalk pencil it'll switch to the same brush and we can add a little highlight just to check how it looks let's go back to the brush we'll color in the nose and now that we have this we can adjust our sketch a little bit for instance i want the face the head to be slightly slightly turned to the right so it'll be at a slight angle so let's go to the selection tool the s shape ribbon set it to freehand and make sure that color fill is turned off and then we can just select the head and then close the selection by tapping that circle. Then we'll go to the move and transform tool, the little arrow, and you can set it to, well, either freeform, uniform, or distort, and then use this handle here and rotate it a little bit. And you can see how it looks, well, it looks more playful, this puppy. So place the head a bit like this and then just tap the arrow again. So this is really the perfect time to make major adjustments on your sketch. You can also go to the magic wand and then to liquefy and set it to push with distortion and momentum set to none. And then you can play around with the size of your brush and then you can move around parts of your sketch. And if you make the brush smaller, like 45 or 44, you can move around smaller parts of your sketch. And this is a super handy way to make small adjustments. You can move up feet. Or move down the nose, for instance. You can make tiny adjustments until you're happy with your sketch. Or if you don't like any of the adjustments you have made, you can just hit reset here like this. And then everything will return back to the way it was. I think I can work with what it looks like right now. So let's go back to the layer menu. And now we can start adding a more detailed sketch on top. And a way to do that is by lowering the opacity of this layer. So we'll tab the end. And we'll slide to the left to let's say 35 or 36 percent and then tap the plus for a new layer 
And now on this new layer, we can create a more detailed sketch. So let's start with the side of the face, for instance. We'll make a line to about here. And then we'll follow the line of that ear. And at this point, you can decide if perhaps you want the ear to be a little, a little bit bigger. You can use that rough sketch as a guide, but at the same time, make a more, well, a, a better line. Create, make a decision about where you want the line to be so that it will be a perfect guide for you when you create your line art. Here we'll make the inside of the ear. Then we can make the top of the head. Perhaps I want this one to be a little bit higher, so I'm not following the sketch exactly. Just using it as a guide. And still, your sketch doesn't have to be super tidy. It can still be a little bit rough. It just needs to be enough for you to be a guide for your line art. Now we have this side of its face. And then for its, its eyes. Just gonna color this in just roughly. Add a little lash. And then for its nose, I'll make it a little bit smaller. And then make that nice looking smile towards this corner and then this side. Then the underside, another nice curve. And a tongue. And then a little chin. So we have a little curve here. Let's also make a little line here and on this side. And then those eyebrows that are lifted upward, creating that sweet look. If we would place them the other way around, like downward, then it will look a little bit evil or angry. So then for the body, let's start here, make a curve down towards its paw, then we'll follow that curve and go back up. And then here we'll make these toes. We'll keep it very simple. Then it's belly here towards that other paw. Line going upward here for its front leg. We have this little paw here. And you can see two of these toes. I remember toes for this one. And we have these lines here for its for its chest. And then it's back. And 
its little paw here. We'll make it curve inward here slightly. And then we'll make a line like this. And then these toes. And then for its tail, let's follow that sketch. Decide what sketch line you want to follow. I don't want to make the tail too big. So something like this. This is actually a perfect time to create a screenshot in case you want to use this as a reference for your own sketch. Now that we have our complete sketch, it's time to create the line art. Now first, let's lower the opacity of our first rough sketch some more, or you could turn it off completely, but that looks a bit, well, I don't know. It looks a bit too clean or I just like it when we still see those rough uh, sketch lines. So I'll keep it like this and we'll pinch these together. Then we'll tap the end again to lower the opacity on this one. Let's set it to 40% and then we'll tap the plus again for a new layer, especially for our line art. And for the brush, we will go to the calligraphy brushes. And then I'd like to use the script brush. And then for the color, we will use this first color in the first row of our color palette. It's a very dark a reddish pinkish color. And the opacity of this brush should be at 100%. And let's set the size to maybe 15. Let me check. I think that's a nice thickness, maybe just a little bit thinner. Let's go for 10. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we are going to follow all of these lines and just make sure to rotate your canvas if you need to. And with this brush, the harder you press, the thicker your line will become. So we are going to use this to vary the line weight of our lines. And that will add a lot of interest to our, to our line art. Sometimes you might need to tidy things up a little bit. So over here, I'll make some thinner lines. And here on that underside, I've added more weight by making a thick line there. Then this line will also make that thick. And we'll go to this side of its face. Make it thinner as you go towards the center. So thick to thin. And here again, thick to thin. And this does take a lot of practice. So don't worry if you're having some trouble with this. And the undo option is your friend, of course. You can always just try again. These toes, here we'll use less pressure for a thinner line. Follow the curve of that paw. for its tail. Sometimes I find it easier to make one fluid big motion instead of multiple lines attached to each other. And I also like rotating the canvas to make it easier to create those curves. Like this is easier for me than this. We can rotate so you can use your wrist to create that curve. Then 
It's a little nose. Let's just drag in a color to fill this. Go for its tongue. Again, you can use the color drop to fill these areas, or you can just color them in by hand, whatever you prefer. Then this curve, I'll use light pressure. And then for the eyes, let's create a circle. Hold your pen in place and tap one finger on the screen for a perfectly round circle. And then let's drag in a color. Let's do the same on the other side. So let's draw a circle, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen. And then drag in a color. Now let's make these little curves. And a little lash. Maybe make it a bit more pointy. And then the eyebrow over here and here. Now what I'd also like to add are some dots here for its whiskers. And I want to add a little line of fur here. And it'll be pretty thin. So I'm using very little pressure. So just a zigzaggy line over here. Do make sure that the line is closed. Then for this one, we'll zigzag our way to the other side like this. And I see I accidentally made a mark here and I don't remember when, so I don't want to go ahead and undo. Let me just erase it. Let's tap and hold the eraser to make it switch to the script brush. And then I'll just go along this line Maybe I can even make it a bit more pointy here. And then just erase this. Now let's add those highlights to the eyes. Let's create a new layer on top of our line art layer by tapping the plus. And then for the color, let's grab this, the first color in the second row. And then let's add a light over here. And one over here. And let's also add a little light to the nose, right at the top like this. And I also want to add a more subtle light to the underside of the eye by using this color over here, second color in the second row. Let's rotate a little bit and make a curved shape like this. And let's do that for both eyes. So it'll look like this. Now it's time to add the color to our illustration. Let's first turn off our sketch layer. We don't need that anymore. And now let's go to our line art layer. We'll tap it and then set it to reference. Then we'll make a layer underneath this. So first we'll tap layer one and then we'll tap the plus. And then for our color, we'll grab this one over here. That's the third color in the first row. And let's drag it into our puppy. And you might need to adjust the color drop threshold by moving to the left and right. I'll set it to 60% and then let's use continue filling to tap this area and this one. Then I want to make a new layer for the other area. So let's go to the layer menu, tap the plus, and then for the color, we'll grab the fourth color in the first row and we'll drag it in this area and this one, and then we'll grab this pink, the fifth color in the first row, and we'll use that for the tongue and the ears. Next, we are going to add some color variety to our little doggy. 
So let's create a layer on top of our layer four here. So we'll tab the plus and then we'll set this layer to clipping mask so that whatever we draw, it'll only show up on this shape. Now for our color, we'll grab the first color in the second row and we are going to create some white spots on its face. We'll start here at the top and make a shape like this. We'll curve along its nose and into the side like this. So we will follow that curve and then here at the top we'll go down and then we'll follow the curve here as well. Then you can loop around, close the shape and then before you drag in a color make sure to turn off reference on this layer. So tab layer 2 here, turn off reference, then go back here and drag in the color. You might want to adjust it a little bit and you can also switch to the eraser. It's still set to the script brush so you can curve some parts or perhaps add a little spot here or make it a little bit more tidy. And now let's switch back to the brush and let's add some white here as well. And let's add some of these fur-like shapes we'll go all the way over its lower leg. Over here we'll follow its chest line and then add more of these furry shapes. And make sure that your shape is closed before you drag in the color. Then let's also add some white here, but of course you can Create your pattern of your own, close the shape, drag in the color, let's add some here, close the shape, drag in the color, and for this paw, just a little bit, and then for its tail. This has really added some interest to the look of our puppy. Now let's also add rosy cheeks. Let's grab this color over here, fifth color in the second row. And then let's add a little oval shape here and one over here. And before we continue adding some shadow and highlight, let's change the background color. Let's go to the layer menu and tap background color. And let's set it to the second color in the first row. And now let's continue and add shadow. To do that, the first thing we'll do is merge these layers with all the colors. Now, if you want to keep a backup, then I would suggest duplicating the layers first. But I'm happy with how it looks, so I'll just pinch these together. Just make sure that the line art is still on a separate layer. Then let's tap the plus for a new layer. We'll set this to clipping mask. And now we'll change the layer blending mode here. We'll tab the N and we'll scroll up to multiply, which is great for shadows. Now for the color, we are going to grab this one over here, third color in the second row. And now let's add some shadows. For instance, let's go along this area of the ear, underneath the ear, and then create a shadow on the side of the dog's face. So it's curving like this, going along the side, a little bit on the underside. Let's drag in the color to check it out. And over here, then let's move up a little bit and curve downward here along its paw. And let's also go along the body. Let's drag in the color. And then for the tail, let's go like this. Drag in the color. Then underneath its belly, let's add some shadow there. Let's 
dragging the color and on the side of this leg dragging the color now for its mouth we'll add some shadow here and on top of its tongue underneath its nose let's also add some shadow here along that curve and over here a little bit here on top of its nose just to make that stand out a bit more and to separate that nose from its forehead and it's pretty dark right now but we are going to tone it down a little bit later and over here underneath this ear So right now it looks like this. Let's tone it down a little bit. Let's go to the layer menu, tap the M, and then slide to the left here until you're at 50%. Now I would also like to add some, some warmer shadow parts on the ears. Let's change the color. Let's grab this one, the fourth color in the first row. Now let's add some shadow shapes here. Drag in the color and on this side it also adds some nice color variety there and then I'd like to warm up the shadow here a little bit now to just warm that up we are going to turn on alpha lock on this layer so our paint won't show up outside of what we already have here I just want to change the colors the the shadow that we already have so we'll tap this layer and use alpha lock and then for the brush we will go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush the opacity of the brush is at 60 percent and the size is at 10 and now we can simply go over this tail area with rounded motions a little bit over its back to warm the shadows up there so we have some nice variety in our shadows I also want to remove some parts of the shadow. Now we can either use the eraser to erase parts of the shadow, or if you want to do it in a non-destructive way, you can tap this layer with the shadows and then use a mask. Now on this layer mask, we can draw with black. Let's just go back to the calligraphy brushes and use the script brush. And then with black, we can remove some of the shadow, like over here, this edge. And add a little highlight there a little bit over here and along its back a little bit of a highlight and if you have removed too much then you can just grab white and then paint it back in so it's a non-destructive way of erasing so you're erasing but not really you're just masking and over here along this paw I think this looks great now let's just add a few highlights let's create another layer and we will place that underneath the shadow layer so let's first tap layer forward and tap the plus and then we'll tap the N and this time we'll set the layer to screen which is great for highlights and then for the color, we will grab this one over here, the fourth color in the second row. And then let's start over here. Let's make a highlight along the edge of the ear and a little bit on the underside here. And some random lines that suggest some fur and that also add some interest maybe a few dots a little highlight on the tongue a little highlight on the inside of the ear just for some color variety along the outer edge of the ear here And 
have again some of these lines suggesting some fur texture. And we can also add a little bit of highlight over here. Let's drag in the color. And perhaps some on the tail. I think this looks good. I think our puppy looks great. What I'd like to do now is add a nice outer edge to create that sort of sticker effect. And to do that, I want to merge all the layers actually, but if you want to create a backup, then what you could do is select all of these layers by sliding to the right and tapping group and closing the group and slide to the left, tap duplicate and then tap that group and use flatten. Now we have a flattened layer, but we also still have a backup of all the other layers. Let's turn that off. Now let's duplicate this layer by sliding to the left and tapping duplicate. And we'll go to the bottom layer. We'll set the layer to alpha lock. And then we'll go and grab pure white by double tapping here. And go back to the layer by tapping it and then use fill layer. Now let's turn off alpha lock on this layer. And I will tap the layer again and use select. Then let's turn on color fill and go to feather over here and slide to the right. And now you'll see that little edge. And now you just need to decide how big you want that edge to be. I'll go for 17 or 18% in this case. And then you can tap the S shear ribbon again. Now we have a nice feathered uh, shape over here. So it has a blurry edge. Let's turn this back on. Now we'll go back to the selection tool, the S shear ribbon, and set it to automatic here. Let's turn off color fill. Let's tap on our screen. And now you might need to slide to the right or left to adjust that shape. Let's turn on color fill just to be able to see it. So we'll go for something like this. Then let's turn color fill off again. Then go back to the layer menu, tap the plus for a new layer, and then tap the new layer and use fill layer. Now we can turn our blurry version off, and now we have a nice crisp white edge around our puppy. Now I want to do the same, but add a dark outline. Let's grab that first color in the first row. So let's go back to this bottom layer, let's turn it on. Then let's use select again. It's still set to automatic and color fill. Now let's slide to the right so we can see that black outline. And let's go for something like this. I'm at 92.3. Now let's turn color fill off. Then go back to the layer menu, tap the plus for a new layer, tap that new layer and use fill layer. And then you can turn the bottom one back off. So now we have a nice outline. Now I just want to add some interest to our background. So let's make a new layer by tapping the plus. Doesn't really matter where the layer is. Now let's grab this color. First color in the second row. And let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Like 27%. And let's just add some dots around our dog or another pattern or little stars or hearts. You can add whatever you like. I just feel like it makes it look a little bit more interesting. So just go around the entire background, press harder for big dots and press less hard for smaller dots or add whatever pattern you like here. And that's it. There you have your cute little puppy. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial. If you want to draw more cute stuff, then you might want to follow this tutorial next, in which we create a cute storybook character. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.